ओम गम गणपत ये नम लाइफ इज नॉट एन ऑर्डनरी वन वंस लाइफ इज प्रशस वन पीपल अनोइंगली द वैल्यू ऑफ द एसेंस ऑफ द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ लाइफ एंडिंग इन द मिडिल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कमिटिंग सुसाइड फॉर सिली रीजन्स बिकॉज लाइफ इज एन आर्डनरी प्रोसेस बट प्रोसेस ग्रेट रीजन वन शुड नॉट टेक लाइफ एन ईजी टास्क दट वे देर इज सो मेनी खोट्स लाइफ इज अ गेम प्ले इट लाइफ इज अ चैलेंज फेस इट लाइक दैट Why these and that say? Life means four-letter word, but it denotes four arthas, purusha arthas, dharma, artha, kama, moksha. These four letters to four purusha arthas. A person's life is mingled with four purusha arthas, four purusha arthas, four purusha arthas. without knowing the value of one's life people used to take it in easy way life means not spending as we follow according to the instruction of the mind life should be beautiful when you perform your work as a beautiful therefore our ancestors taught us the value of the essence of life to make it fruitful by performing various rites rites and we also give importance to follow always on right path or righteous path we should never deviate even a single step from righteous path during troubles adversities calamities whatever the things comes even that that juncture we should stick on to face with boldly so basing on this now i took the topic life is a challenge i come before you once again the topic is life is challenge let us go in detail first of all prayer ramaya rama badraya rama chandraya vedase raghunathaya nathaya sitaya pataye namaha life is full of its ups and downs one day you may feel like you have it all figured out then in a moment notice you have been thrown a curveball you are not alone these feelings every one has to face their own set of challenges learning how to overcome challenges will help you stay centered and remain calm under pressure everyone has their own preferences for how to face a challenge in their life however there are a few good tips and tricks to follow when the going gets tough let us take our pick from the following list what are the 10 ways to overcome challenge in life let us learn though we know at least let us remember once again what is wrong there so let us adopt 10 points to overcome the challenge of the life number 1 make a plan while you don't know what is going to happen in future you can always plan ahead look at the patterns in your life and see what challenges you have struggled with 
assess the optional outcomes and make a plan for how you can achieve them if you work somewhere and can anticipate the types of challenges you may face then you can plan ahead this is the same for students in school if a challenge in this a time management then you can learn and plan for calendar management for example no you are no you are not alone you should know that you are not alone every person in this world <coughs> has their low points some may handle or even hide it better than ones but the truth is whatever you are going through there are others who have been throughout it too you are not alone try to reach out to your community and not to network speak your feelings and express your concerns in all sectors of your life third ask for help you are not alone because man is a social animal is it not he has attachment he should possess contact with each other whomsoever it may be so you can find help there is no need to feel ashamed for asking help whether you choose to rely on a loved one a stranger a mentor or a friend there are people who want to help you succeed four feel your feelings by making your feelings they are not going to go away rather feelings become trapped energy and can even have negative health consequences when they are ignored take some time to feel what you feel this could come in the form of meditation or if you would rather write down what you feel writing can be a therapeutic and aesthetic experience when you feel and share your feelings you may also be able to see your situation in a new light this exercise could lead you to coming up with novel solutions and overcoming any challenge at hand fifth accept support asking for help is only one side of the coin on the other side of the coin you have to be open and willing to accept support people who come to your <coughs> aid truly do care about you be open to receive the help when you need it sixth at the same help others the old age goes what you give is what you get if you have been through a situation or have advice for someone you know who is going through a tough time be sure to help out helping others not only benefits them but it can also help you feel happier yourself seven think big it can be easy to let yourself think small because of a fear of failure or even the fear of making a decision but to accomplish great things in life you have to be open to taking risks with whatever challenges may arise always think and dream big that's why you will achieve more than what you could have ever imagined try not to let your thoughts get in your own way eight positive mindset what you think becomes your reality train your mind to think positively this will take both a time and practice it big it begins with mental awareness you can practice awareness through mindfulness techniques 
and meditation when you get good at acknowledging your thoughts and letting them pass you can stop negative thoughts in their track 9 don't give up when a challenge arises be it a big test in school or an upcoming running race don't give up persistence is a huge key to overcome challenges giving up means that you will neither overcome the challenge nor learn from it power through challenges by asking for support feeling your feelings and making a plan to work through it last 10th one work smart and not hard generally there is more than one way to get something done however there is always just one opinion or one optional way or best way of doing it to work smarter rather than harder start by working backwards outline and define your goal then plan the process for how to get there perform research to see how others who have come before you have done it take count of your own skills and ideas for how you may be able to do it better then stick to your path and get to work now four step method for overcoming challenges number 1 accept and let go accept where you are now and what you have this is your life at this time while it's a temporary accepting it will help you to let go of stress anxiety and fear meditation is one of the best ways to learn and practice acceptance number 2 observe and decide when you face a particular challenge take a step away from your feelings to make a plan while it's important to still feel your feelings when deciding how to act you want to be objective as possible 3 face fears and act taking action is one of the biggest step in overcoming challenges it's likely that a big part of whatever you are facing like a challenge because you have an underlying fear try to recognize and define what you fear in the situation then you can act to mitigate that fear for practice gratitude ultimately we tend to exist in our comfort zones so when something new happens or is a presenter we may feel like it's hard to deal with by practicing gratitude you can reframe your definition of a challenge you will also be more happy overall in your present moment life is beautiful but not always easy it has problem too and the challenge lies in facing them with courage letting the beauty of life act like a painkiller making the pain bearable during trying times by providing hope happiness and sorrow victory and defeat day and night are just two sides of the coin similarly life is full of moments of joy pleasure success and comfort punctuated by misery wise are rich who has not experienced struggle suffering or failure no doubt life is beautiful and every moment is celebrated beautifully but one should always be ready to face adversity and challenges a person who has not encountered difficulties in life can never test the courage patience perseverance and true character of a human being adversity and hardships make a person strong and ready to face the challenges of life equanimity with equanimity there is no doubt that there can be no gain without pain 
it is only when one toils and sweats it out that success is nourished and sustained thus life should not be just a bed of roses thorns are also a part of it and should be accepted by us just as we accept a beautiful side of life the thorns remain one of how success and happiness can be evasive and instead of feeling disappointed and disheartened rather remember that the pain of thorns is short lived and the beauty of life would soon overcome the pricks of thorns those who are under the impression that life is a bed of roses are <coughs> disillusioned soon and become victims of depression and frustration one who faces difficulties with courage <coughs> and accept <coughs> so success without letting it go to their head is a one who experience real happiness contentment and peace in life <coughs> those who think that good time last forever easily succumb to pressure during difficulty they do not put in required hard work and efforts because they break down easily you can take the example of a student who burns a midnight oil makes a sacrifices and resists temptations so that he can perform well similarly a successful executive has to face the ups and downs of life not forgetting <coughs> that life is a mix of success and failure joy and sorrow if he loses hope during difficult times he would not achieve success and would be replaced by others even the strongest kings and emperors have had their cup of woes life is not been a bed of roses for them the proverb uneasy lays a head that wears a crown has been rightly used for people who are successful and are enjoying power and authority to sum up life is beauteous just as roses but it has challenges which are like thorns and have to be faced and overcome by all those who accept these challenges and succeed are the ones who know to live life in its true senses thus enjoy life but also be prepared to bear the pricks of pain let us face the challenge in many cases this is the most important step the most obvious step also yet it is also the most often missed people spend time looking for a way around the issue or wallowing in despair at the enormity of the challenge instead of facing it even mundane things like a pile up of laundry or work <coughs> get ignored putting a challenge off does not make it go away this is true of big challenges as well as small ones the most important thing you can do is a face what's in front of you head on be present do not underestimate the power of being present if you make a practice of facing your challenges even in failure with full present presence and awareness you will find most challenges at all instead of life's challenges become messages from the universe meditation can help you cultivate silent awareness and is a good tool to help bring that focus focus to yourself during difficult times look to yourself for the solution others can help you arrive at your own the understanding but no one ever solves your problems for you even in circumstances where someone else is acting as an authority or partner only you can decide for yourself how you will process the situation 
the longer you spend searching for guidance outside of yourself the longer you spend ignoring the problem assess the situation your resources and your abilities and then act your action may include enlisting help from others but it will be your challenge to solve the sooner you take up the challenge the quicker it starts being a problem know yourself challenges are opportunities to grow that growth takes place out of a potentiality which is infinite and highly active in every moment of life come to know yourself as that your pure potential experiencing life through what seems like limitation barrier that guide you to awareness you decide are you limited or are you an ever expansive growth of consciousness and love choose the latter and take another look at that so called challenge you have been facing there is a reason why certain challenges seem hard to you while others breeze right through the same situations it's not because they are better than you it's all about a consciousness those who face a challenging task have found a way to avoid seeing those activities as challenges detach from the outcomes stressing about the potential outcome is often what turns a mole hill into a mountain once you shift your focus to the thing you are actually doing instead of the result the most intimidating parts of the trial start to disappear if you simply perform the task at hand without worrying about the outcome you have power over the situation some challenges seem enormous and harsh but if you remain centered and full of awareness no challenge is too big to meet with power and grace in our personal lives and on a global scale <clears throat> we face challenges that test our emotional mental injury illness unemployment grief divorce death or even a new venture with an unknown future here are seven strategies to help carry us through number 1 turn toward reality so often we turn away from life rather than toward it we are masters of avoidance but if we want to be present to enjoy life and be more effective in it we must orient ourselves toward facing reality <clears throat> when we are guided by the reality principle we develop a deeper capacity to deal with life more effectively what once was difficult is now easier what once frightened is now feels familiar life becomes more manageable and there is something even deeper that we gain because we can see that we have grown stronger we have greater confidence that we can grow even stronger still this is the basis of facing capable which is a well spring of a satisfying life number 2 embrace your life as it is rather than as you wish it to be the buddha taught that the secret of life is to want what you have and to not want what you don't have right here right now there is a freedom in taking life as it comes to us the good with the bad the wonderful with the tragic the love with the loss 
and the life with death. When we embrace it all, then we have a real chance to enjoy life, to value our experiences and to mine the treasures that are there for the taking. When we surrender to the reality of who we are, who give ourselves a chance to do what we can do. 3. Take your time. <clears throat> As the story of the tortoise and the hare tells us, slow and steady wins the race. By being in a hurry, we actually thwart our own success. We get learned the easy way but not necessarily the best way. As an old proverb puts it, the slower you go, the sooner you get there. Slow, disciplined, incremental growth is a kind of approach that leads to lasting challenges. Fourth one, practice gratitude. <clears throat> it is easy to count our troubles rather than our blessings. But such an attitude undermines our ability to draw from the good that we have been given and to see our lives fundamentally as a gift. A change in perspective can make all the difference recognizing the good and receiving it with gratitude is a receipt for emotional health and well-being. This attitude charges the possibility that we can make use of the good we have been given and even use it to cope with the difficulties that we inevitably inherit. Fifth one, stay close to your feelings, even the painful ones. If often we find our feelings scary, heavy and confusing, so we try to keep them uh, at a distance. But we need our feelings not only back for us, but it also drains us of our psychological energy that makes life worth living. Feelings are the gas in the engine of our personalities. They are the source of motivation. They are the energy, the vitality, <clears throat> the justice of life. Without them, our lives would not have any personality, dimension or color. There would not be any joy, creativity or fun. There would not be you, there would not be me. Without our feelings, nothing would really matter. Six one, accept success and failure as a part of life's journey. We are all learning. No one gets its right every time. A more compassionate attitude toward ourselves only helps us to stay in the game. The dynamic process of life trying, succeeding, failing and trying again is a only to develop lasting confidence in ourselves. We learn through experience that we can both succeed and recover from the failure. We also learn to be humble and so to develop a view of ourselves as limited creatures that will always need the help and support of others, no matter how mature or successful we become. The child within always will need mentors and friends who will see us through. Seventh one, tend to your loving relationships. It is easy to neglect what matters most. Our relationships with those we love. These relationships don't just happen magically. They grow and are sustained 
through attentive care and hard work. Mature love in marriage, family, or friendships is a dynamic, living experience. It is something you choose every day. It is something earned every day. It is requires commitment to keep it working. It involves a daily process of overcoming the distance and ordering the separateness between us. We take responsibility for our mistakes. We learn to say we are sorry. We try to make amends. We learn to forgive. We accept the forgiveness of an another. As the monks do every day, we fall down and get up. Fall down and get up again. In such a way, we have to face a life. It's a challenge. Shri Kantai Kalyana Nidhi Nidhi Dhanam Shri Vengadir Masai Shri Nasai Mangalam Mangalasas Mare Vodachar Prokumai Sarvesha Purvai Rachare Satrutaya Stumangadam